What's going on? Joey here. Today is a beautiful August day. I mean, look at this. Barely any clouds in the sky. It is currently, get a load of this, 92 degrees out. And so we're going to the beach and I'm bringing you along. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. Man, this sun, it is strong. So, uh, before we get started, I just wanna send a big thank you out to my Patreons. It's because of their support, I get to do fun videos like this. If you too wanna support this channel, all you have to do is click the links in the description below. Let's go to the beach. Here is our crew. We had seven of us. Got our chairs all ready to go. We're making our way to the beach on 22nd Street. All of us in our matching the chairs. I guess uh, we're the pineapple squad. Yeah, is it what this is? <laughs> The pineapple kids, pineapple. that's funny. Now about two weeks ago, I put a video online and I asked you guys, how do you get to the beach? And um, believe it or not, the biggest answer was is that you guys stay at your hotel and you don't move your car and you walk everywhere. And I love to see that. I love it when people are biking and scootering and all that. Hey. To me, it's pretty great. Hey, how are you today? Hey. It is always great to see you guys as you're walking and biking and scootering everywhere. That's what this island's for. You know, that's why I always tell you, wake up early in the morning, go for a nice bike ride. That's what we do at night. We knock out about three miles, just kind of walking. We walk down here, make a left, go to the lighthouse and back. This is the spot to be out and about walking and exploring. There's so much to do on this island, like right now. We're walking to the beach. For us, it's about four blocks. It's really not bad. Well, maybe on the way back, it's a little, little bad just because, you know, you swam all day. Uh, you just want to get back to the house and shower, take a nap. But uh, yeah, there's seven of us, and it's going to be such a perfect day at the beach. I mean, look at this. No clouds. Look as we waddle down at the beach. <laughs> One thing I thought was pretty cool is that it's so windy that all of the clouds are starting to like spread out, which is kind of cool. Hopefully that means that the water line has a nice little breeze. Uh, we could totally use that today, totally. And if you're with me, it's August and it's 90 something degrees. I feel like it's getting hotter and hotter. But for those who don't know, on 22nd Street, the main reason why we like to come over here, A, because we live on here, but B, because we got Seaport Pier right in front of us. With Seaport Pier, you can walk on the pier to the back to get on the beach, A, and B, because you have your own bathroom right at the back of the pier. Yeah, remember the old days when it was Seaport Village? So sort of the same thing, you get your own bathroom right back there. So, uh, that's what we like come over here. Don't tell anyone though. Watch a tram car. We decided to walk on the side because they have a benefit going on up there but uh, barely any clouds. And these are the bathrooms I was talking about earlier. You can see, you just come back here and use the bathroom and then go right onto the beach. Now, one thing I do have to say that I love is this. For those who don't know what this is, if there's baskets in here, you take it to the beach and you pick up trash and you fill up this basket and then you dump it in like the dumpsters right behind us. You see the North Wildwood Beach Cleanup Station. Take a basket, fill the basket with any trash, empty basket in a city trash can, return the basket right here. So they got trash here, and you get throw it away right over here. We learned to surf with Ocean Outfitters pretty much on Rambler Avenue. And the first thing we did every time we go to the beach, like the number one rule is you pick up three pieces of trash. Because, you know, you're supposed to love the ocean. Ocean treats you well, you treat it well. And so that's what we'll do here. We'll all sit down, we'll pick up some trash, throw it away, and then have some fun. But before we get to the spot, look at this view. Woo! The beach is happening today. Now, for those who don't know, here in the middle, there's nothing here so that it's an emergency exit for the lifeguards, in case for those who didn't know that. But uh, flags galore, you can see tons and tons of flags. It really is the perfect day on the beach. There's our crew that way. We're gonna head that way. We are all set up and ready to go. We picked up our trash and threw it away. Now it's time to dip our feet in the water. Making our way to the water. Get ready guys, because we're gonna put our feet in. I know you guys wish you were here. So I did bring with me the GoPro or the DJI Osmo, which means we're gonna take you guys in the water. Not right now, but a little bit later on. Remember to always swim in front of a lifeguard and uh, let's put our feet in the water. In we go. 
Woo! Little sandbar over here. The wind picked up a little bit, so I apologize because I don't have like a wind guard. So I apologize if it's really, really windy on the phone. Um, but it is such a gorgeous day. We went for a quick little swim. It is very, very, very cold out there right now. Uh, but don't worry, I will be going out there with you guys. But right now we're just hanging out by the water's edge, enjoying the sound, enjoying seeing everyone on the beach and having a good time. So now I want to know your routine when you come to the beach. Let me know in the comment section, what are the first things you do when you go to the beach? For us, it's getting set up, do the trash, dip your feet in the water, and then it's getting iced coffee. Most, mostly for the dirty banana, for those who don't know, it's a nice coffee done by pretty much the people that own Seaport Pier and then they have these stands that go up and down the beach. You can see right here with the flag. It's iced coffee with like a syrup of chocolate and then banana mixed up. It is unbelievable. It's so fresh and you can see it's actually a lot of people down the beach having that iced coffee. But that's kind of my routine. Then I swim for a little, put some water on. Like right now I know I'm going to get burnt. But uh, for those of you let me show you the ice cart. This is the cart right here in front of us. It's a big blue banner and it says ice coffee. And you can tell they have the dirty banana because in their logo, it's, a, it's an actual banana. Can you see it a little bit? Let's see right here, try the world famous dirty banana. It is so good as I said before, there's the logo. You can see it, it's got the, sorry you can see it. You get the banana on it. And well, for the past at least two years, that has been like our go-to kind of thing. It's amazing, it's actually so good that we bought all the serums so that when we make coffee at home, bless you, we make coffee at home, um, <laughs> we can make it at home, bless you. <laughs> uh, but that is our routine. Once again, let me know in the comment section what your routine is. Now, one thing I always wanna remind you guys when it comes to when you're doing your vacation, I always say this and I'm hoping that more and more people do it. Be sure to thank your lifeguards because Throughout the entire summer, they're trained to watch the waters, look out for rip currents, and keep your kids safe. And there's some people bring like $5 gift cards or dunk it or something like that. But if you don't want to do that, give them five bucks or just say simply thank you for everything you do, especially if you're here all summer long and they're protecting your kids. So please give them a big thank you. For this is a massive tug of war of kids on the beach here at 22nd Street. Girls against boys! Who's gonna win? Here we go, tug of war. Oh, the girls are winning. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. Pull, 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 pull. Come on. I think the girls have won it. Yeah. Woo. I have to admit, that was really fun. That was really cool to see, you know, over here at 22nd Street, we have a really big family kind of aspect. And today, we got a lot of mummers. I think we saw like the silver slippers over here, right over there. And then we have the two street flags over here for the frogs. So it's really cool. We got a lot of great families over here. But uh, I'm gonna put some sunblock on because I am burning. Yes, I know you're making fun of me. We're at the beach, we're under the canopy but I burn very easily, so we always put up an umbrella and a canopy, but a little overheated, which means it's time for the water. I'm gonna bring you guys in. We have the camera, it's with me right now, so uh, let's go swimming. I'm gonna switch the camera. Here we go, guys, we're heading into the water. We got Mom and Nick over here, and there's Jewel and Ira. We're going swimming, you coming in? Huh? Again? The camera doesn't really give justice on uh, this water right here. It's like a little gully and it goes up and it shows right here a little sandbar. I don't know if you can see that. But a uh, little sandbar here and it is definitely a cold, cold day in the water. Usually, and I'm going to say usually because this is mostly what happens, is that when it's really, really hot out, the water feels extra, extra cold. I mean, imagine temperature of the water is like maybe 65 and if it's like 75 out the water feels decent because you know it's not that big difference in temperature but when it's 90 something degrees out it's a big jump so it feels like it's 30 degrees colder because I mean really it is so water is really cold right now but you know, I can complain any day I can get in the ocean it's a great day 
There is a quick view. Oh, got hit by that wave there. Quick view of the beach. Pretty decent amount of folks out here today. Woo! You got the Thundercat going down the beach that way. I don't think you can see that. Now, because it was kind of like a stormy morning around 2 o'clock, it was really stormy, uh, the water is not really, how do I put it? It's a little bit browner. A little bit browner than I normally like. You can kind of see. A lot of people always ask me, what is the deal with the colors? A lot of it has to do with just algae. You know, when we get a massive amount of algae, it kind of cleans the water, makes it blue, you can see through it. Whenever we get a storm, you can see a ton, a ton of sediment get picked up, a lot of seaweed kind of come through, and so because it rained and it kind of stormed a little bit out the sea, you kind of have this brown kind of color versus like the really nice blue, which is funny because if you just go like at a good five miles off, you can kind of see this camera a little bit, it's a nice blue out there. Of course, the downside of it being this kind of color is that when you want to put the camera on the water, you can't see anything. Like for example, we'll see a nice wave coming by and you'll see nothing. Good evening. Big, big reminder, always swim the lifeguard. Always, always. And it turns down here and no joke, guys. Seriously, no joke. Always swim in front of a lifeguard. Well, we've been out here for about a half an hour, so I think it's time to head in. And the only way she could go in is body surface. Here we go, body surface. Didn't really get too far though. This saddens me. People are just like literally leaving all of their trash. I've been collecting trash just along the beach the entire day. It's one of being everywhere. <laughs> I've got more in here that I've been tucking in here, so I'll throw away later. So we've done about three hours on the beach. So it's enough for all of us. Uh, the wind has picked up a lot, and a lot of people, as you can see, started leaving. So we're gonna pack up. Get out of here. Great nor'easter is going. Look for the flip, there's the flip. Not just us getting ready to leave, so are the lifeguards. She's taking back her umbrella. They're over here taking care of all the other flags. You can see there's a couple more still down that way. But they're getting ready to call everyone in pretty soon. A lot of people are packing up, but a lot of people are still staying around. Even though it is like 5.30 or about 5.15, this sun is still extremely strong. I can't believe how strong it is. But uh, one thing I do have to say right now, for some reason it smells like someone like made oil and garlic macaroni and you could smell right on the beach. It made me really, really hungry. It's such a weird smell to smell on the beach. But at uh, the same time, I'm not going to complain about it. Uh, though. I could go for some curly fries right now. But uh, we're pretty much all packed up and we're gonna head off. Here is our crew heading off the beach. You can see it's definitely emptied out. You can hear the band in Seaport Pier. Can you hear it? Yep. Perfect day at the beach. Head back, have some barbecue, and enjoy an evening on the boardwalk. The lifeguards over here are bringing in their surfboards. Also, got to give the city props for these blue mats. They're so much easier to walk on than the sand. I always you can wash your feet on that. There's one on the other side of the pier as well. But we're going to the right this time. And three and a half hours, we are back. Woo! 